So uh, this is my chance to actually show you what I've done in uh, purchasing. This is what Sandy put on Facebook yesterday. I actually put it on Facebook as well. My astronaut beef uh, beef stew space dinner, which you can see here, and as it can, you can see what it contains. It contains uh, everything from freeze dried beef stew, corn, and uh, instant chocolate pudding as well. Now, um, if you look closely at the ingredients, it's actually an awful lot of work involved. It's not like just you know, open the pouch and eat it, which is kind of what I was hoping for, because like the, uh, the uh, ice cream, the astronaut ice cream you can buy is very much just open the packet and eat it right out of the thing. Well, this is not, but we're going to go ahead and try and uh, see what's involved here. You need three bowls, one for each dish, and you put each of the uh, packets that it comes with. There's the corn, there's the instant pudding. You need water, so if this were in an earthquake situation, you'd need to actually have water in order to make it happen. Now, I've got the three bowls here. And we're going to make each of the uh, d dishes <laughs> as directed. This is the beef stew with, what is it, gravy or something? Or is it just freeze-dried beef stew? Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like here. I'm not sure if those are potato bits. I'm guessing it's like potato bits. I don't see much in the way of beef. There looks like there's some peas and some tomatoes. We'll see. You have to put this in boiling water and wait 10 minutes. Yet is the space, uh, the space stew, beef stew here, de dehydrated. Here we go. Okay. Well, it uh, it might keep you alive in a in an earthquake, or after an earthquake, or in an emergency. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem to have fully rehydrated. Okay, so I'm going to try the corn here. Um, it's not nearly as bad. I, I'll admit I tasted it briefly. I did have to stick it in the microwave because it didn't seem to be absorbing the moisture. And I have kind of corn soup here, but the truth is the corn is actually surprisingly sweet. And it doesn't have that kind of dust bin taste to it that, frankly, the uh, stew over here does have. It tastes a bit like real corn. Um, the stew, again, it'll keep you alive if you're in a uh, earthquake or something, but it wouldn't be my first choice to eat if I had really even ramen noodles to eat. I think I'd rather eat those than this. Um, again, not the worst I've ever tasted, but Okay, and last but not least, we're going to try the, uh, I guess I'm calling it survival pudding. It's basically astronaut pudding, but I feel like in the event of an earthquake, this might be what we're chowing down on. Again, you want to make sure you have plenty of water. I sort of underdid the water on the stew, overdid the water on the corn, so this is sort of the happy medium, I guess. It doesn't look too bad. And it's regular chocolate pudding. Okay, Sandy, and friends of Sandy, those of you who uh, <laughs> were actually interested in learning what my astronaut food, my fancy s beef stew space dinner was going to taste like, well, the beef stew, uh, it'll keep you alive. The corn, surprisingly good. The pudding, well, it doesn't look like much, but it's not bad. So, reporting for Sandy's page on Facebook. I'm C. Bass here in the Star 1013 slash News Talk 910 Newsroom. Happy eating.